Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now today's video is very exciting. It's not every day that one of your favorite companies comes out with a brand new product. And when I say brand new product, I don't mean like a new iteration of something they've done before. I mean literally a brand new product. But today, that's exactly what we have. A brand new product from the company VanQuest. Now here in my hands is the ADAX 25, a 25 liter bag in part of their brand new series, the Urban Series Bags. Now, these bags have, in my mind, some controversial discussion to go on. Now, when I say controversial, well, what does that mean? Bottom line is, I feel as though that this particular lineup, unlike any other VanQuest product to date, really had some controversial beginnings. Some people really liked it, other people didn't. It was very polarizing, and I have a bunch of thoughts about that. But what we're gonna do today is outfit this to see if this bag's gonna suit my particular needs. Now for me, this is gonna be my everyday carry solution here moving forward and I'm gonna give this a good run for its money. But in order for me to do that, I need to remove the contents from my current everyday carry bag. This here being the Maxpedition Prepared Citizen Deluxe. This bag's been great. It suited me very well. I've been carrying this literally every single day since SHOT Show 2020. So it's been almost six months at this point. But the contents in here are the contents that I need for my everyday needs. Now this bag here being closer to 40 liters, the ADAX 25 being, well, a 25 liter bag. So do I have the ability to get all my contents inside here and carry it nice and comfortable well there's only one way to find out and if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into do me a favor stay tuned Before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at VanQuest who have provided this product for review So here we go the ADAX 25 brand new for 2020 and the urban series lineup of bags so this as i mentioned is going to be my new edc carry for the foreseeable future and we're going to set it up today however before we go on you remember i said well this was a little bit controversial maybe a little bit polarizing this is what i think so VanQuest for me is a company whose products I really watch closely and I have for years, pretty much since they first came out. So I know pretty much all the lineup and all the things that people have liked. So when this new Urban series came out, there was a lot of talk about what is VanQuest doing? Oh, I can't believe these are new bags and this is what they're coming out with. And there was a lot going on. Now, what it seems like is it was like a 12-step process. At first it was denial, but now everybody's at acceptance. Bottom line is these are the new series, these are the bags, and they are now here and here to stay at least for the foreseeable future. Now, this to me, you gotta kinda step back a little bit. VanQuest can't make all products for all customers, but they can make something for everyone and you really need to look at the brand as a whole let me put it into perspective have you ever listened to a band for years on end one of your favorite bands maybe they have five six seven albums but then that eighth album comes out and you're like whoa wait time out what was that hold on and it doesn't quite fit the way you thought it should it was a little bit different. Maybe it didn't sit the way you hoped it would. We'll take it a step further. Now you go to the concert and you're listening to the band live. Well, you get all the best of all the albums they've ever put out and they mix those new songs in and it puts it all into perspective. And at that point, you're like, oh, okay, I kind of get it now. It's fitting that niche for something they didn't already have. You can't always continue on the exact same path. And that's exactly what we get here with VanQuest's Urban Series. They need to diversify. They need to capture additional 
market space and customers and people that otherwise would not necessarily potentially be VanQuest fans or customers. And I kind of knew this was coming because VanQuest sends out little packages to their reviewers around Christmas time and this cool little stocking showed up with this heathered blue material. Now this caught me by surprise and it got me thinking because I saw their new little blue emblems and patches and the blue fabric and I just started to think. And then one day on VanQuest's Instagram there was this blurry photograph of the new lineup. Now I had seen some of those colors before. It was something that was familiar in my mind and I squinted my eyes just a little bit and I could kind of tell what they were coming out with. The market demands gray man. The market demands low profile and sort of classy looking EDC gear with good tactical features. And that is what you get here with the new VanQuest Urban Series. So with that, that's my take that's where we're at these bags are here for the foreseeable future and let's just say they're here to stay so will this new series do what vanquest hopes it will do i'm here to look at it for a first time look at it and really start to test this out and at this point let's get into my edc gear and load out this bag so first things first is the material this is a shadow gray color um, this is a heathered fabric, very interesting and a little bit different than the typical Cordura you see on VanQuest bags. Now VanQuest is referring to this as their 400D Urban Blend Nylon Poly Fabric. Now it does have a polyurethane coating just to help with water resistance. And there are actually a number of water resistant features as you look at this. Really uh, catching me right away is the sort of, uh, I would say, exterior coating on the zipper. So a nice zipper track with good durability and that sort of weather resistance. We'll get into that in a minute, but just because this is an urban bag and you know, bottom line is you're gonna get caught out in the weather. So having that polyurethane um, and good durable material is definitely gonna come into play. Now the way I'm gonna approach this is pretty much looking at my items and starting to get into this bag. We're gonna look at this together for the first time uh, there are obviously a number of features on this but as you look at the outside of the bag that's kind of the first thing is when you look at the construction it's not the same as your typical VanQuest bag. You don't have the molly. You don't have all the attachments. I'm not able to sling a water bottle corset off the side of this. So I need to plan out and make do with the internal compartmentalization that comes with this bag. So unlike, again, other VanQuest products, there's not a ton you can do to really, I would say, enhance or expand on the overall uh, functionality of this bag. However, with that said, there is just some loops on the bottom which is nice so you could maybe put uh, something on the bottom if you wanted put your jacket put a small pouch really thin uh, molly style it's actually kind of like seat belt webbing when you really look at it and that's also the case with these straps so as you look at these straps again kind of more like that seat belt webbing style it's very very soft and pliable this is going to move very easily which is nice always good quality uh, hardware and buckles and everything that comes on a VanQuest product very very nicely done and there are obviously similarities so as you look real quick you will see some of the trademarks there are, you know little shoulder straps and the things that you kind of come to know that same contouring that you get on VanQuest bags that same ventilated mesh back that you get on a lot of VanQuest bags so you are going to get a lot of the same desirable features just in a different looking and slightly different featured pack. Now I have to say I am very happy with the fact that there is a sternum strap. Now again this can go either way. Some people like it, some people don't. Bottom line is you can remove it if you don't want it. I will keep it there. I do like having the sternum strap because it keeps the shoulder straps tight against your body. It doesn't allow them to pull back and really stress on your shoulders. So that to me is a plus. It looks like there's plenty of adjustability here. So that is definitely great. I'm happy to see that sternum strap. Now there is no waist strap. That to me is probably perfectly fine, especially for an EDC bag. I'm not going to need it. It's really, I mean, this is really 
at the heart of it a an urban EDC bag. So I'm not taking this off road. I'm not taking it back country. Um, that for me would not be um, a, a use for this really. There are other bags out there if you really are looking for something for the the back country of the bush. This would not be my choice. Um, so I don't really you know blame them for not putting a waist belt. I really don't think it's needed for this particular style pack. But as you see here, there are some straps. Basically, you could use this um, as a carry-on for the airplane that will allow you really to pass through uh, for your luggage. So as you're towing your luggage, this is a little pass-through. That's kind of nice, just a simple feature, and it doesn't get in the way. Nice stitching as you look. Everything always double-stitched or box-stitched at stress points. That's the one thing you absolutely always get with VanQuest. The stitching goes above and beyond to make sure it's durable. So very well thought through pinpoint design and accurate on all the important stitching throughout the entire bag that goes for the exterior and the interior as well but you'll see a nice little patch so this brand new for VanQuest this leather patch never having existed on any of their prior models so new for the Urban Series they do have a little bit of a different look and I like that I think diversifying is a good thing it does have their uh, trademark logo but just a little different look little different feel now as I start to get into the interior here, I need to start thinking about my EDC gear and components. So how am I going to access them? What's going to be the easiest way for me to get into them? Well, this exterior here, a nice large pouch. Now this screams to me, cell phone, battery bank, the things that you need to get quickly and easily on the outside of the pack. So that's probably the first place I'm going to go. So here, the power bank, let's see how that fits. Now it fits absolutely perfect. If I wanted to charge my cell phone, I could easily slide that beside it. That is fairly nice. And that seems to be about the perfect size here on the outside of the bag. Now some of the other things that I need on a regular basis, I have my keys. Well, where would they go? Not so sure, but let's just throw them right down in the bottom corner for now. Now I always have some basic fundamentals, chapstick, little uh, ibuprofen in case I get a headache, and some dental floss to keep my teeth nice and clean. Let's take a quick look in this upper compartment here, see if this would be an appropriate place to go. Well, I'd say most likely yes, and a very simple mesh pouch right here, easy to get to on the top of the bag, I like that. Hand sanitizer at this point in time, definitely a must and something I need to get to without touching tons of stuff inside my bag. So um, these pockets here, that's actually a little shock cord. That's gonna work fairly well. So maybe just sliding that right in the front, that will do. A wallet with my business card. So let's see, maybe back in here, front pocket. Oh, that slides ever so perfect right in the front. So. That works very nice. Couple of rulers. I use rulers all the time for drawing things, uh, taking notes. I just like to be neat and organized. Will that work? That's just a little tight. Need a little more space than that. So in reality, right on the front again. So these pouches here having bungee. So not just the orange interior, but you get that shock cord bungee. That's actually a great opportunity for rulers like this, and I can just slide them right down and into place. Now I keep a couple of pens where I can get to them quite quickly and easily. That's something that I just want real accessible. You never know, you need to write something down real quick, sign a document, um, you never know, right on the front. Now I don't use these all the time, they're just there in case I need them, but let's just get those right in into place. So one of the most important EDC items I have is my pop-off leather notebook. This thing has all my notes. Like if somebody gets a hold of this, it's like the creation of my YouTube channel. Uh, not only that, but you know, my daily business and notes that I need to take. This thing is absolutely critical to me. So do I want that here on the front? Well, hard to say. I would say at this point, let's poke around at this bag a little bit more and see what else it has to offer. So as I get into this middle compartment here, oh nice. So 
fully Velcro lined right there. That's very nice. I know exactly how I'm going to use this and I can tell you my notebook maybe not going in here right now. But as we continue to get through this bag, let's lose this tag here. This is that weather resistant compartment. So this to me would be where your computer would most likely go. And as I open this up, okay, so a couple of compartments here. We have Velcro to seal that off. So a nice soft compartment here would be suitable for a tablet, either one of these really. And here, that's the one, look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. That should go perfectly inside there if I'm careful. Yes, absolutely. That's the spot for my notebook. Nice and easy on the outside of the bag. I just have to open this up and this is the way that I function. I need my tablet. I need my notebook. They always come out together. And sometimes I don't need any other contents in my bag. Sometimes it's, it's really just the laptop, the computer, and my, uh, my notebook. So that's gonna be very convenient. I like that very much, and that works well for me. So if that's the case while I'm at it, getting my tablet computer here and sliding it down into place. Now for the size reference, you will see this is a tablet computer, not a full size laptop, but that fits nicely in there, sealing that off, that will work. Now the other thing I could do if I wanted to have just a little more protection for this is really slide it in here. Either way, this is gonna work very well. Now the advantage that I do have if I put this in that middle compartment is that here I have a ton of Velcro. I could potentially do something with different, um, you know, uh, attachments or things like that. I don't personally carry uh, concealed, but that's certainly a spot you could do that. Uh, for me, not so much. I think at this point, I'm basically just going to keep that tablet right there, good and secure which now that I have my laptop leads me to the next part, which will be my cords and cables that I need for the laptop. Now this pocket here, that looks to be just about right. So for the time being, let's start with that. What I like is this is separate from some of these other items. I don't want something like this that's gonna be able to bang around to interfere with some of these other sort of, call them EDC items. I might have some things in here that are just a little bit sensitive. The last thing is a, you know, having a hard brick uh, power supply banging into things. So at this point, I think that's gonna go right there and let's continue to move on. Now, one of the features that I greatly enjoyed about this prepared citizen bag from Maxpedition is this particular pouch here where if you unzip that and open this up, it completely fillets open. This to me was awesome. This becomes my sort of little mobile workshop, which I did enjoy very much. So does this new VanQuest Urban Series bag give me this same sort of luxury? Let's take a look. Well, not quite exactly the same. However, as I showed you before, this nice area of Velcro. Now, not only on just one side, but actually on two sides. So I think if I'm clever, and I think about this carefully, I should be able to leverage this and really take advantage of both sides of the Velcro here and make myself a nice system. So the first thing here is some of my tools. Now I do go to these fairly regularly. And the question is, how do these best fit in here? Can I get these into a way where they don't compete with other things? Well, yeah, I think if I go down here, slide this all the way down and Velcroed nicely into place, well, there we go. That's gonna sit there mighty nice. I can get on this stuff very easy. Open the bag, flip that open, and all my stuff will be displayed here. I can get on my tools very easily, not a problem. I think that's gonna work fairly well. And a couple other mag pouches that I use for things like Leatherman have this nice little torch. So these here, well, I shouldn't have too much problem with this either. These really look to me like they could go anywhere on this side. Now, I do wanna be a little bit careful. As you look here, you will see, this is the water bottle pockets. Now, as I can see here, they kinda of snap out of place. Am I gonna really use these 
For water bottles, well, I can tell you probably not, but I have my sunglasses here and I do need these. They're actually clear and transition to shades. And I use these uh, really for safety glasses and these should fit right down inside here. And I hope they do, because that would be pretty nice. So I have a little competition of space here, if I'm not careful, pushing against the tools. Maybe I can try on this side here. Let's see how that goes. So yeah, that's gonna work. If I'm careful, I can make this fit in fairly nice. It actually helps to hold the bag open a little bit. That's a good sturdy case. It's not gonna get hurt. I'm able to clear most of the tools and that to me seems to work pretty well. So I'm gonna go with that for the time being. And so if that's the case now, getting into these tools, how do these lay out? Well, I should be able to pop this one nice and uniform into place. Second one, let's go over here for now. So there we go. That looks pretty good. And the last one here, this has all of my uh, pens and refills and some additional little items. I always like this literally right at the top of the bag. That always is a good spot for me for this. I just have to open the bag, get right in the top. These are things that I go to fairly regularly. So having that right there, that's gonna be nice. I still have plenty of room to get to everything else. And that leaves me with a little bonus area, which is pretty cool because I like to decorate it out with some of my morale patches. So getting in here and kind of lining this out with some of these cool patches that I've acquired. I mean, what else are you gonna do with these things? You might as well use them. And now that these bags are starting to come with Velcro laid all over the place, there's different brands starting to do it. It's kind of cool because you can really leverage these patches a little bit more. And especially a bag like this where you don't get any Velcro on the outside of the bag, well, at least you can kind of decorate on the inside. And so now at this point, this pretty much takes care of my tools. I do have a few additional items that I'm concerned with being here, more of my chargers um, and headphones. So does it make sense just to kind of throw all this in this one pouch? Well, for now, maybe it does. I might spread these out a little bit later on. That's starting to get just a little bit bulky. And now the other thing that I have is my checks. You know, every week you get a paycheck, you get a stub, where do you keep them? At some point, I gotta do something with these, but I don't like them laying around, so I kinda keep them in my bag. I let them stack up for a while, and then I deal with them all at once. So, uh, what about that? Right on top? Let's see how convenient this is. It's actually the exact perfect size. I can Velcro that shut. They're not gonna accidentally fall out where I don't want them. That would be like the worst. Imagine being on like, I don't know, a train or something and, and all your pay stubs just go falling out. The fact that that has Velcro there, that's pretty sweet. And so the last thing for me that's kind of a wild card and I don't always carry this, it kind of got heavy and bulky for me. This is my Emdom USA Tactical Pencil Case. If you have not seen my review on this, this, pencil case and I know it sounds kind of nerdy but this pencil case is just awesome I actually I really really like this and I want to have it with me it's nice having good quality writing utensils and a variety so everything from different size markers sharpies paint markers colored pencils highlighters you name it it's in here and allows me to do a lot of creative things but will this fit in here? Will it be bulky? Will it be comfortable? Will it weigh me down? I'm not so sure, but I do want the ability to take this with me. So looking through here, well, this part here is starting to get tight up here. That's probably not so practical. Doesn't really work. The front here, that's not really gonna work for me. Getting into the uh, section here. Well, that, may work but again it is tight it would require me to rework some things like for example if I found another spot for my notebook could I get this in here yeah probably that seems to sort of fit but it's not really ideal it makes everything bulge out all kind of weird so this might not be the best I'm gonna have to kind of call it at some point I'd rather not have the weight 
I'd rather not have the bulk and I'd really like my setup to be nice and streamlined. So if that's the case, I would really have to take some of the best of the best out of here and distribute it throughout other parts of this bag. And so just a last few items that I think I could get away with carrying in here fairly well. I mean, there's still a ton of organization, a ton of space. Now, let's be real. I don't like completely clogging up my bags. I like the idea that when I get to a location, I can just take my wallet, throw it in the front there. No problem. It's, you know, not banging into other things. I can find it easy. I don't have a ton of extra stuff. Um, but however, I do like to have maybe a small fixed blade. For eating lunch and things like that, I do have a lot of reheated meals. This could fit beautifully in here and in one of a number of locations. That's just a little tight. I might need a smaller blade, but this one here being a nice size for this, certainly I could just kind of slide it in the bottom if I wanted. That's not going to be a problem, but looking through, is there another place where this might work better? I mean, definitely in the front here, I can make this work. It's a little awkward. This I do like, but it's just a little awkward to get on the elastic. Um, that is sort of deep inside. You really need to be careful. And I always find that with these particular types of pockets, because they're sort of pleated a little bit, I would say, I don't know, either pleated or gusseted and folded over, um, you know, you, you struggle sometimes a little bit with the bungee. That's the case here just a little bit. So can I make this really work for me? Yeah, sure. It's not going to be the most convenient at this point i'm going to struggle to get my cards out of there you just deal with again just competing features sometimes with this so you know i don't blame van quest for putting the bungee on there i think having the shock cord ret retention straps and, and the feature there is definitely worth having it's my choice of what products i put in here you know that was my decision i'm um, not there so can i make this work yeah probably i'm just going to slide this in here for now so at this point, let's wrap up this bag. And the thing about VanQuest products, I always say their zippers are very stiff when you first get them. These aren't too bad, but these nice quality YKK inverted zippers, just a little bit stiff. And I like that. To me, breaking in these zippers, it's like a rite of passage. The more and more you use these bags, the more and more the zippers break in and just get buttery smooth. But you need to earn it. You need to use this bag over and over and over again to break them in. So again, for me, it's like a rite of passage earning that sort of buttery smooth zipper with these beautiful YKK inverted zips. Very nicely done always. So the hardware solid, the fabric really nice, a little uh, less stiff than other bags being that 400D, which is awesome. Same sort of quality on all the hardware and the stitching and the overall layout functionality. I mean, all my stuff fits in here nice. So at this point, this bag is completely set up. I have everything I need for my daily needs. The one place I can tell you right now I'm gonna struggle is with a water bottle. Sometimes I carry two. So sometimes I have water, sometimes I have coffee. What am I gonna do with that? I mean, you could potentially clip it somehow on the outside of the bag. You could clip it to the top maybe with a carabiner. Um, the water bottle pockets being on the inside for my needs right now are purely competition of space. I'm not going to have the ability to do that. Like so for example, I know now that this is my middle pocket. My middle pouch here, this big pouch, is my sort of tool layout. So my EDC tools, the things I need to uh, get on a regular basis, my Leatherman, my little sort of knickknacky tools, um, which I do use all the time, some of my pens. It has my cables and cords, my sunglasses. There's no way I'm gonna fit a water bottle in here and nor do I want to. I, I really don't want my water bottle in here potentially leaking or moisture and condensation getting on some of this other stuff. So again, this is my choice. 
I chose to do this. It's not VanQuest's fault. All I know is I am going to struggle with where do I put my water bottle. So um, that is one of the considerations right now. Um, just for me, you know, in my daily life and the way I conduct my business and the things that I need, I would need to carry it. Uh, could I figure out another way to bring my water bottle? Yeah, possibly. Hard to say. I don't know if I'd really want to slide it in here either. I mean, I have my power bank. I really don't want moisture getting on that. It would be a little weird sticking out. Um, but that would certainly be a potential option. I kind of like the idea of it being on this part of the bag. I don't know if there would be a way to really make that happen. Uh, I'm not going to lash it to the bottom of the pack. So um, that to me is the one liability I see in the design. But other than that, my stuff fits really nice. And what I'm starting to see about this, which I do want to point out, is the fact that this is sort of square. You don't have a lot of tapered off corners or tapered off, uh, you know, head of the pack. It's all very square. So things fit neat and organized and from one side of the bag to the other side of the bag. You don't end up with limitations. If this was all tapered out and angled, you would not have the same storage capability on the side of the bag as you do in the middle. It would limit your ability to put certain types of items. This for me, nice and open and square. It's business-like. It's organized. It has those basic things in a laid out fashion that work from one side of the bag to the other. Now, as you can see, I mean, I have tons of additional storage capacity in here. There's so many things I could lay out, you know, could I get to the point where I actually take my tools? You can see, watch that. That's already starting to break in. You can already feel it and you can probably hear it. I know you can see it. I mean, see, this one I haven't moved quite as much, but it, it'll start to do the same thing. But my point being, I could take things out of here, put them in the other parts of the bag, buy myself that storage capacity, and then put my water bottle in here. I could do it. I just choose right now not to. That's my EDC setup. This is what I enjoy. Can it change? Sure. Might it change? Yeah, it might. But right now, this is what it is. So anyway, um, that, I think, is my EDC setup here using this ADAX 25. So the ADAX 25, my new EDC from the VanQuest Urban Series. And so now, trying this out, let's see how it fits. So far, I can tell you it actually feels really good. Fits nice and flat on my back, which I like. There's no real gaps or weird angles or anything like that. Fits very flat and nice. The shoulder straps contouring beautifully. And this is what I'm saying about the sternum strap. The things I have in here weigh enough that if I'm not careful, it will pull back on my shoulders just a little bit. So having the sternum strap, especially if you're a commuter, that's going to be nice because it keeps the shoulder straps in where instead of it pulling on your shoulders, it's really going to keep that distributed in front of your chest and give you a better overall carry experience. Um, but I can tell you, this feels really nice. One thing I want to check. Yeah, that's a good thing. I've had bags recently in the past and I'm not going to stick uh, anybody under the, under the bus right now, but... The prior bag I was carrying, hint, hint, as I walked and pushed on these, they would slide, meaning the bag would fall down. This hardware is perfect. You can't beat it. VanQuest does an unbelievable job with their selection and their overall geometry to make everything work. And that's what we have here. So as you look, um, you know, I can't see this bag on my back, but I'm hoping it looks pretty good. It certainly feels good. And I do like the overall style. Now, if you're not into the heathered fabrics, you can still get Cordura and Multicam. So again, maybe there's a little something here for everyone. And so now just a few last thoughts on this ADAX 25. So I was wondering about the name. If you look up ADAX, you'll actually find a type of, and I don't even know if it's like a goat, but it pretty much looks like a goat 
Well, I thought the name was the next iteration of, say, for example, the Markor. And I thought VanQuest was going with a theme. So I was talking to Michael from VanQuest, their lead designer, who actually came up with the name for this. I was completely wrong. It's actually named after an experimental aircraft from the 80s. So definitely interesting, something I would have never even understood. So pretty cool from VanQuest and definitely thinking a little bit outside the box. So with that said, again, I'd like to say thank you very much to the people at VanQuest who provided this for review. I'm definitely intrigued at this bag. I like the overall shape and functionality, and I think it's going to work fairly well for me. Um, as you saw, I set this up. There is in certain spots some competition of space, but that's based on my gear and the things that I chose to put in this. If you have a different setup, it may work differently for you, but that's the thing about VanQuest products. There's something here for everybody. And with this urban lineup, again, maybe it's a little bit polarizing, maybe you like it, maybe you don't, but bottom line is, this may be for you, and if it's not, well, it's because it's for somebody else. You know very well that there are other VanQuest products out there that are perfect for your needs, whether you want the sling bags, or you want those hard-use tactical-looking bags for the outdoors, their computer bags, and all the great EDC options that are out there. This urban series just is adding diversity, adding a wider variety of products for a wider variety of customers. And I can't blame VanQuest at all for that. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.